Hey, what's up guys? My name is Justin and I'm a data analyst working remotely for a biotech company based out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. In today's video, I'll be sharing my personal journey on how I became a data analyst as well as sharing some tips and advice if you're interested in getting into a data analytics role. I've listed the timestamps down below, so feel free to skip forward to the sections you want to see in the video. So a little background about myself, I graduated from Boston College back in 2019 with a bachelor's in computer science. And during my junior year, I took a database and applications course where I learned about SQL and database management. And it was during this class, I first learned about data analytics. I didn't know much about it until I went to a couple of networking events hosted by my college where companies would come onto campus and share about different roles and more about the company. One presentation stuck out to me, which was from the data analytics team from a company named Optim, which is another biotech company based in Boston. And this team was tasked to use data analytics in order to help diagnose patients with Alzheimer's. This seemed pretty cool to me as they used thousands of voicemails as data to find and detect patterns between people who did have Alzheimer's and people who didn't have Alzheimer's. And they tracked different stutters, different uh, patterns of speech, any repetitions. And once they were able to build an algorithm based on all the data, they were able to build a program and therefore help diagnose patients with Alzheimer's. After this presentation, my interest in data analytics grew and I just applied to as many internships as possible related to data analytics. And I got my first internship as a data analytics intern at a biotech company based in Boston. During my internship, I learned how to use a data visualization tool called Click which is very similar to other popular data visualization tools such as Power BI and Tableau, and I'll touch on those a little bit later. I was tasked to build multiple dashboards for my team, which included different metrics and KPIs to evaluate how well my team was doing. I learned to develop my SQL skills, analytical skills, as well as just being very attentive to detail. And thankfully, after my internship, I received a full-time offer from the company and that is where I am currently as a full-time data analyst. So you're probably wondering, how do I become a data analyst? There are a couple core skills that you need to develop before you start thinking of applying to data analyst roles. The first skill is developing an analytical mindset, which means identifying patterns and trends while solving complex problems. The second skill is being attentive to detail, which means you're able to deliver high quality work while minimizing any margin of error. You don't magically just receive these skills, but over time and experience, you can continue to build on these skills. If you don't have any previous or relevant work experience, I suggest you working on some personal projects in your spare time. In this way, you're able to not only build on your skills, but also have a portfolio filled with data analytics projects that you're able to showcase to potential recruiters down the line. I have listed a couple of project ideas down below in the description, as well as a link to another channel called Alex the Analyst, who has a bunch of great project ideas in his videos, so go check him out. There are many tools that data analysts use, such as Excel, Power BI, ClickSense, Python and R, just to name a few. If you're just starting out, I recommend using Excel, which is a user-friendly data analysis tool used by almost every company. If you're already familiar with a couple of these tools, I recommend picking up another skill and tool because in my experience, the more skills and tools that you know, the more value you're able to bring to your team. Once you've built up those skills and completed those projects, it's time to polish up your one-page resume by listing all the technical skills you have acquired, as well as listing any relevant work experience and completed projects. Also, make sure you update your LinkedIn profile by listing all the technical skills you have obtained, as well as all the completed projects, as well as the relevant work experience. When you're applying to data analyst roles, I would strongly recommend against just submitting your resume as your application. You're more likely to get an interview by actively networking 
As a wise person once told me, it's not about what you know, but who you know. And I feel like that's so true because the more you network, the more people that you meet, the recruiters are able to put a face next to your resume. So if you're a college student, go to all of your networking events, meet and greet all the recruiters and get your name and face out there. If you're looking to change your career into the data analytics field, leverage all of your connections, your friends, your family, reach out to anyone who is in the data analytics field and see if you can just grab coffee with them, get your name out there and actively build on those relationships because that will provide you so much value in the long run. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you got a little bit of insight on how to become a data analyst. If you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment down below. I'd be more than willing to respond if you have any questions. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.